Hey, G Daddy. The dad, uh, want to say uh, what an honor it is to be able to make a video uh, during this strange time just to tell you how much I love you and how much I am proud of you and respect you. Um, your amazing dad, amazing grandfather, um, a, a wonderful example of uh, how to love a wife, how to love a family, and, uh, and how to do the work um, that uh, God asked of you. Um, just very proud and very honored, um, always, to be your son, your favorite son. But uh, definitely um, honored to, to be able to tell you how uh, much I respect you and, and always have. From, from Sunday school to senior highs to you know, the beach trips and all the parties that you hosted as a part of that. Um, the Bible study for the Sunday school. I know you put in the work and all the, the positions you officially held at Philadelphia Christian Church and, and uh, volunteered for um, as much as possible. Um, even when your grandkids are home, sometimes you're volunteering. So, uh, just uh, want you to know I love you and I'm proud of you. Hey Jerry, congratulations on your award. I'm so proud of you and I can't think of anyone that is more deserving. You have a heart of gold and you're always thinking of others and of how you can help. I know that Braxton and McKinley will grow up and will cherish the times that they spent with you and remember the lessons that you have taught them. But I also hope that they grow up and that they think of others and have the heart like you do to think of others. So congratulations, we're proud of you, we love you, and we're so happy to celebrate this occasion with you. Um, I just wanted to call you to say that I love you and that everybody here is proud of this big accomplishment and Rusty's over there trying to tell you that he's proud of you too. Anyway, I just wanted to video myself saying that we love you. Congratulations, Granddaddy. I love spending time with you and can't wait to see you in Florida that I love Granddaddy. Number one would definitely have to be the Buick trip. Um, that one's just like my favorite. It can never be beaten, really. Number two is the Buick. I've always wanted that. And number three would be just really fun and funny to hang out with. Number four would be uh, he makes great ice cream. Hi, Granddaddy. It's your sweetheart. Um... I just want to say thank you and that I love you. Um, you've made me feel loved and supported from, I, mean, I don't know if I could feel in the womb, but definitely from before I was born. Um, and I hope you know how much that means to me. I love you. I've learned so much from you, like how important it is to actually listen to what other people are saying and to be kind to people because you don't know their circumstances and to think about your words before you say them because words are more powerful than most people treat them. Um, I appreciate you, I admire you, I love you, and I'm so excited for you and us in the future. Hey, um, I just wanted to say that I love you and um, that from the moment I met you, and Gran, um, you guys welcomed me into your family, and I, I never felt out of place, and I always felt welcomed and supported, and you just have so much love and care, and um, you're so supporting, and, and I'm very, very glad that I can now call you a grandfather and somebody to look up to. And you're a really amazing person and I really love you. Congratulations, Jerry. I can't think of a more deserving person. For as long as I can remember, probably my whole life, Jerry has always been there in the background, being a supporter, being a cheerleader, probably doing whatever 
crazy idea Millie or sometimes my mom um, would talk him into, but Jerry has always been a constant source of strength and quiet uh, leadership and I just can't think of a more deserving person to win such an award. Um, Jerry, we love you and I miss you and I hope I get to see you soon. Hey, Granddaddy from Hot Florida. Can't wait for you guys to join us in a few weeks. Congratulations on the Presbyterian Legacy Award. Uh, I can't think of anyone any more deserving. You're a wonderful man, great leader in your community, great father, great husband, great grandfather, great father-in-law. Um, I'm just so proud to be a part of your family. Love you. Hey, Granddaddy. I hope you and Grant are doing well. I want to congratulate you on receiving the Legacy Award. Thanks for being a great grandfather and I can't wait to see you soon. Congratulations, Jerry Mollis. I can't think of a better person to receive this honor. You are an amazing, gentle, humble servant of our Lord's and I am so delighted that I've had so many opportunities to work with you. I just want to say just a couple of words about Stephen Ministry and how you have always been such a rock in that group and I am so grateful for that. Again, that kind, gentle spirit that you have, you, you don't get excited, you are so calm and just such a prayer warrior on top of it all. So I just want to say once again, congratulations and I am so pleased that I've had the opportunity to work and serve with you in, many, in so many different ways over the past few years. Hey Dad, congratulations on receiving Presbytery's Legacy Award. It sounds like quite an honor and I can't think of anyone more deserving. What a blessing in my life it's been to have grown up your son, to have a father who so witnesses what it looks like to live a Christ-honoring life. I was always so proud to, to have a dad that was a man that other men uh, so obviously respected and looked up to. Thank you for being that kind of man. Uh, thank you too uh, for being the kind of dad who always made holidays and vacations so special. Thanks also for being such a great father-in-law to Laura and grandfather to Jesse and Max. Again, what a blessing have a man like you in the lives of our boys. So again, congratulations on this fine honor and thank you for being a superhero of a dad. I love you, dad.